Hi there, I'm Emma Luzzi at Blue Sky Philanthropy and I'm here to talk about how to make your donor communications more accessible. So as fundraisers, we work really hard on our donor communications. We want to reach as many people as possible to share those great stories about the incredible impact your donors gifts have on your work. So it only makes sense that we make our communications as accessible as possible to all of our donors, including those supporters who are blind, visually impaired, deaf and hearing impaired. So I'm here to share three practical ways you can make your donor communications more accessible. And I want to start with something I'm doing right now, which is captioning your videos. Hopefully video is part of your donor communication toolkit. If so, you need to be captioning your videos. The great news is it's really easy to do this. There are a lot of free and affordable tools available online to caption your videos. So there's really no reason not to. An added bonus of this that captioning your videos actually increases audience engagement overall. So you'll get more folks watching and interacting with your videos on social media. So tip number one, be sure to caption your videos. Tip number two I want to talk about is get to understand a little bit more about the principles of print accessibility. Lots of great resources again available online. I'll share one of my favorites in a moment. But two of my favorite tips around print accessibility relate to font size and contrast. So number one, make sure you're using a large enough font size in your communications. You're looking to land anywhere between 12 points and 18 points uh, when you're doing print and uh, online communications. A second tip there is to really be thinking about the contrast. So what color is the font you're using and what color is the background? You want them to be very high contrast. A very classic and oft used example is a black text on a white background. One of my favorite places to learn more about print accessibility is at CNIB here in Canada. It's CNIB.ca. Lots of great ideas there as well as their role modeling all these principles on their excellent accessible website. My final tip for making your donor communications more accessible is using alt text and image descriptions. You're probably already familiar with this, but in a nutshell, alt text or image description is just a brief piece of text that describes images that screen reading software can use to make images more accessible. So just think about being more consistent with this. It's not something I will admit that I've done well. I'm making a commitment to do this more regularly in the future. So hope you hold me to it. I'm going to be uh, more regularly using image description and alt text on my website and on my blogs and on my social media to make sure those images are accessible to my readers as well. So those are a few of my thoughts. I would love to hear how you're making your donor communications more accessible. Please share your favorite tips and learnings below so we can all learn from them. And until next time, I wanna thank you so much for all of your hard work, as well as for taking the time to watch. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you again next time.